months of innovation. My mom got an Instapot, and one of the things it says not to cook in an Instapot is cookies. I love cookies! So, the obvious question is... How do you make cookies in an Instapot? I'm not exactly sure. And is it possible? I don't know. Let's go see. Right now, the Instapot is all the cooking craze. And on the list of the things that it says not to bake in the Instapot are cookies. So we're going to bake cookies. It's time to put on our apron. There we go. Let's get going. Since the Instapot is a pressure cooker, we're going to put in the trivet and pour in some a cup of water. And then we're going to go over it and we're going to get some cookie dough and put it in mason jars. Put in some mason jars and then we'll add a, I was thinking about, again, how can we make these better? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some sponge candy and I'm going to cut it open. Put a piece of sponge candy in there so it's like a bomb kind of and then i'll have one more piece on the top okay so right now we've got our all of our cookie dough in but what we're going to do is we're going to get some tin foil and cover it over the top we're going to do it like this for all of them okay so we filled these about halfway, covered them with foil. We're gonna put it in. Now that we have our mason jars in, the next thing we're gonna do is plug the Instapot in. It should make a beeping noise like that and say off. Most of these buttons are pretty useless like a microwave. Like seriously, who uses the potato button? Who cooks potatoes in the microwave? The Instapot's kind of the same. So what you're gonna hit is you're gonna hit pressure cook and it should start on whatever time you had it at last. So for us, we had it at five minutes and we're gonna keep it at five minutes, but you can adjust it by pressing up and down. So we're gonna keep it at five minutes. Then what we're gonna do is put our top on. You would think that you'd want to align the arrow up with that, but you want to put it more at an angle and then turn it so it's locked. Then you just leave it be. It should stay on for a while until it heats up and then the five minute starts. This should be interesting. I haven't done this before. So I'm just gonna turn it this way to open it. And I'm gonna pull it off, standing off from the side. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to wear a hot pad, and I'm going to take out my cookies. Even through the oven glove, I can feel that this is very hot. Okay, now we're going to open up our cookie bombs and see which size turned out the best. Oh boy. Ooh, some of these are pretty gooey. Let's see how it turned out. Okay, so we're gonna try out these out. I think that if you're making some bigger ones, I would recommend cooking them a little longer. Let's try out a small one. These are still pretty gooey because they just came out. That's actually pretty good. It's very hot, but I like it. So the time for the middle one, I think, was really good for five minutes. The small one was also great. The big one, I think it's a little too gooey. But sponge candy, it did not turn out. I do not like it. The Hershey one's really good, though. If you're experimenting with your friends or experimenting by yourself, write in the comments what you think is good or what I should do next. Wow, those Instapot cookies were good. I love proving the experts wrong. Maybe the sponge candy ones weren't as good, but just the cookies in general were good.
Cookies? Finn, that reminds me of a joke. Oh, no. Why did the Oreo go to the dentist? I don't know. He lost his filling! I don't get it. Whatever. Subscribe. Leave a like. All that good stuff. Listen to more bad jokes like these.